Hey guys, I thought I'd break out my Ruger Mini 14 with a folding stock on it. This is really a, a fun gun to shoot. So what I'm going to do is go over this stock so you can take a good look at it. And then my son and I, we're going to put some earplugs in, some earmuffs, and do a lot of shooting and have some fun. Ruger actually came out with a folding stock Mini 14 back in the 1980s. Now, they didn't produce it very long, so an original Ruger folding stock has some collector value, and they're also quite expensive if you can find one for sale. Now, this stock was not made by Ruger. This one was made by Ramline. And I gotta tell you, it's a very, very good stock, very well made. Ramline made shooting accessories back in the 80s and 90s. A lot of the stuff they put out was just crap, and they went out of business. Or I think I think CCI bought them out or something, but Ramline is no longer around. So these stocks are also very hard to find. If you find one, it won't cost you as much as a Ruger stock. So I'm going to show you the difference between this stock and a Ruger stock, just so if you are in the market for a folding stock, you won't get ripped off thinking you're buying a Ruger stock when actually you're buying an aftermarket which doesn't have that collector value to it. So let's take a look at this one. Let's start right here. Now I do have this stock mounted on a Ruger ranch rifle. This is an NRA special edition. It has a 16 inch barrel instead of the standard 18 and a half inch barrel. So it really fits in the stock really nice. Very quick to get on target. Just really a lot of fun to shoot. Now let me show you something. If you're looking for a folding stock and you want a Ruger, let me show you what to look for. On this ram line, you'll notice it has a standard AR-15 pistol grip. Now this is what the Ruger pistol grip looks like. Again, compared to this one, it, it is a little different. This one has the uh, finger rest. The Ruger does not. Another thing you want to look for is right here in the hinge area. You'll notice on this one, this block is square. It's got rounded corners and it's square. The Ruger is more rounded, as you can see right here. Again, the ram line is more square and the Ruger is rounded. It looks a little different. There's other differences, but those are the two main things. Look at the grip and look at the, uh, the block right here. So, let's just take a quick look at this stock. I'll show you how to fold it, unfold it, and then uh, we're going to just put some rounds through it, have a little fun, nothing fancy, just uh, do some blasting. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, let's take a quick look at this. I'll show you how to fold this and unfold it. You have a notch right here, and that notch is going to lock into this metal lug right here. And you have two push buttons. You have one right here, and there's another one right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this button. That allows me to fold the stock. I'm going to push this button, bring this piece up, and she locks into place, just like that. To unlock it, push the button, bring that down, unfold it, and you're ready to go. Again, very tight lockup on this. Just really a very well-made stock. It's got very good welds on it. And I think that's about it, guys. Let's uh, put in some earplugs and do some shooting.
You know, I, I've had some guys comment about why I shoot food. Well, most of the food I shoot is expired. For instance, if you take a look here, a bit of focus here. This says best by June 2016. And this is October 2017. So that's way over the expiration date. So we are going to shoot it. Right, son? That's right. You blow it up. Fifty-five grain soft point. So I've got an old van out in the desert, plus a Mini 14, plus a GoPro camera inside that van when I shoot it. Let's see what it looks like. You know guys, I had a blast making this video. Shooting a Ruger Mini 14 in a quality folding stock really is a lot of fun. If you ever come across one of these old Ramline stocks in good shape, you might consider picking it up. Have no idea what it would cost you, but uh, um, mine's in near mint condition and, and no, it's not for sale. But anyways, let's talk business for a minute. For, for you new guys that don't know this, YouTube has cut advertising revenue. They've cut it way back on gun channels, including mine. It's had a big impact on my ability to make my videos. So here in just a, a moment or two, you're gonna see this. Now when you see that at the end of the video, do me a favor and click on it. That's gonna take you to my Patreon page and all I'm asking is you donate one dollar a month a buck a month that's all you got to do if I can get enough guys to do that I can keep producing my videos because they are very expensive to uh, uh, to produce for instance this video you're watching right now I've got at least six hours into it I've got well over 100 miles on my truck the cost of ammunition I'm not sponsored by anybody so if you guys can help me I'd appreciate it my son just got an FFL by the way and uh, 
that should give me access to a whole lot of really cool guns so help me out guys and we'll keep making these videos in the meantime I appreciate you watching if you haven't subscribed yet I would certainly appreciate it anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you next time